not bog at all. Yeah, I could have this in fourth gear around town and be doing like 30, but then I won't have the power band that I need to get out of yeah, some place. Yeah, where mine will. Mine will still. In my Daytona, would I couldn't have it in fourth gear at 30 though. The thing would have like stalled out on me. Yeah, it definitely spoils you. And uh, I think it encourages bad habits sometimes. One of the people I ride with has a RC51. And he just puts that thing in fourth gear and rides around all day doing whatever he wants. It's like, yeah, I'm doing 15 in fourth gear, so what? Yep. <laughs> I can, what of it? Mm -hmm. he, can, he just powers out of the corners like nothing. He just touches the throttle and he oh, shoots yeah. away. I can imagine. Same thing with a lot of those Buell guys, because those Buells have like 150 horsepower and the mm -hmm. torque is like 70, 80 feet of torque. Like I go into a corner since I just leave it in third gear usually and they just like whip out of there. The other thing that's weird about these bikes is there's no engine braking. There's like so little yeah, engine braking. Yeah. My bike, I don't have to touch the, the brakes usually I when I go yeah. into a turn. I just like hold the throttle and all. slow down. Yeah. I don't brake at all. I could practically come to a stop at a stoplight on nothing but engine braking. Yeah, same here. It's a pain in the ass on the highway when you want to give your throttle hand a rest. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be, I just let go and then all of a sudden, yeah. <laughs> now you're doing 20 on the highway. And I always have to check him back and make sure there's no car because I know the second I let off, the person back is going to be right on my ass. It's awesome for the twisties, but sucks yeah, for straightaways, like on the highway, it long does. rides. She's definitely gotten a lot better. I don't know how she's still going. It's really hot out there. It is hot. She probably should rest 